the studio system is still very much a, an apprentice system, right? No, now we get kids that come out of, you know, come out of these colleges and um, sometimes it's great, sometimes it's a problem. Sometimes what they've been taught is not great. Um, we see it because they come out and first of all, they've never really approached a microphone before. You know, it's all been stuff in the digital world. Um, it's come off of digital instruments into a, a you know, workstation. It's been manipulated in there and it's all lives in this digital world. And they've never had to put a mic on a drum. Where would I put it? You know? So, yes, I, 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 it's very different now. Um, no, the kids we get come from internships from here, right? Where's Tim? Tim's here. Yeah. <laughs> so. What makes a good intern or a good, a good second engineer? What makes a good, um, an intern is different a little from the second engineer. An intern is a guy who gets to, like I started, cleans the place up. Uh, gets food, makes coffee, and then uh, intrudes on as many sessions as he possibly can <laughs> and makes himself the biggest pain in the ass in the world. And then he becomes an assistant. Because the kids that don't do that, they're interested in kind of the glitz and the glamour, but uh, they soon find out that there isn't any of that. There's none of it. I mean. I don't care who the artist is in a, in a studio, there's no glitz and there's no glamour. <laughs> it's just a lot of long hours and hard work, period. So it, it really, kind of the internship gets rid of most of the kids right away because it's really not what they're looking for. Um, and the ones who stick to it and are a real pain in the ass, they become eventually, because uh, they've, they've been in so many sessions, they now know this is how we hook the cables up, and this is where the microphones go, kind of. I know which kind of microphones go where. Now, to be an assistant, pretty much, you better know Pro Tools backwards, forwards, upwards, downwards. Um, that is just a given. And then our, our assistants have to know all the analog world as well. So they have to know um, the console. They have to know the tape machines, how to align them and all that, you know. So in our place, it's a little bit different because we still work in both worlds. You must be teaching them how to align a tape machine because they don't come to, come to you knowing No, that. they don't know that. No. No, I mean, I, I remember um, I was doing a, I, I work with a really incredible Cuban guitarist songwriter and because um, I, I mix onto half-inch tape and <laughs> the assistant was like amazed that I actually cut the tape <laughs> they'd never, well, they'd never seen that before. Yeah. And then cutting the same thing with 24-track tape, editing 24-track tape with a razor blade and some tape, they hadn't seen that before. That's a so lost no. art, isn't it? Yeah, there's really, there's no need to do it anymore because really um, it's much better now in Pro Tools. I mean, that's, what, that's what's so great about Pro Tools. The edits that I would have loved to have made before and just couldn't because a symbol, well, that's not true. You know, there's, there might be an edit where you need to edit on a particular drum hit, but a symbol hangs over that, and, but the symbol isn't on the other side of the edit. You know, so it kind of, that's, you know, that's not really good. So we learned to do these um, horrendous edits. They called them window pane edits. And uh, instead of just cutting a piece of tape diagonally like this, we would mark on the heads where that track was and then you'd take it off and you'd put it on a piece of cardboard and you'd take your razor blade and you would cut it like that <laughs> just so that the symbol would go over long enough and then you would have to do that on the other side and then you'd put that together with tape. You run it over the heads a few times and sometimes it actually worked. So now we don't need to do that. No. Now it's a lot easier. Pro Tools did solve that problem. It sure did. Thank God. 